What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. For those of you stopping by catching the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So no particular topic. Uh, we haven't done a random just live chat Q&A bullshit session, basically us just shooting the shit and talking just to talk, basically. No topic today. We're just going to have a little fun, talk for an hour, hour and a half, whatever. We'll see. We ended up going for almost two hours yesterday with that live unboxing. Bunch of great fragrances in yesterday's live stream. If you haven't seen that replay, I would advise checking it out. But I'm wearing a masterpiece today. Burlington 1819. My wife is not a big fan of it. A little too musky for her. She keeps telling me how strong it is. I have five sprays on. It is pretty strong fragrance. Not going to act like it's not. I still think it's a masterpiece. I love it. Like I said, she's not a fan of it. I am a fan of it. I never said it was a strong compliment getter. I just said it's a gorgeous, unique wearing experience, very complex. There's so much nuance to this fragrance. Um, this is an experience worth having. I'm not saying your significant other won't like it. Mine doesn't care for it. She doesn't say it stinks or anything. She just was too strong back up. <laughs> so she doesn't like it. It is what it is. No big deal. It's been a little while since I've worn it. And uh, I'm a huge fan. Huge fan of this. Some of Raja Dove's best work, in my opinion. Great performance. It's fresh, but has so much depth, complexity, some density, um, citrus, booze, spice, musk, and, and I mean animalic type of musk, civets and stuff. And um, I forgot what else is in here. There's I'm going to say cumin in here as well. There's just so much going on. If you ever see the note breakdown, you're like, oof, there's a lot there because that's how Raja Dove rolls. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So happy to wear Burlington 1819 today. So no reason to wait till 10 minute mark. We're just going to talk to the chat the whole time anyway. I'm the other way around. I actually prefer the Lintense. I love the new Lintense. Desir Toxic. If you like mint, it's a great fragrance. It's Desir Toxic with an intense mint leaf. Sorry to hear you don't care for it as much, but I sure love it. Joel, good to see you, sir. Yes, I did. <laughs> I sure did. Arrows to work. Legend spirit out the shower. Kajal Ohm 2. I wear Kajal 3 when it warms back up. Try Kajal 4 and returned it. Leather accord was too strong for me. I might like it then because I like a good leather accord. Good to see you, sir. Dior Ohm Intense. A great fragrance. Frankie, good to see the package made its way to you. So you tried the Black Noir decant first. Okay. Okay. Uh Enjoy CK all as well. So he won uh, the second spin for the designer tier for this past month's giveaway. He won a bottle of CK all and a decant of Mancera Black Noir. Mr. M.A. Styles, Kenneth Cole RSVP, the orchid in that fragrance is, is very underappreciated. That fragrance is underappreciated. It's decent. It does not get talked about. I did a review on it like four years ago, over four years ago at this point. That's good stuff. Watch since. Good to see you, sir. To back from Mason Alhambra. Good to see Neil wearing more ATH Onyx Extreme Sweet Rose fragrance off the top that dries down to being super musky like Tarathic Blue. Noted. Polo Cologne Intense. Beautiful, fresh green. Good to see Clinton. Well, I'm wearing Tre Nui, my favorite GIT clone. And I'm not going to argue against that. That's a really, really good one. It's Grassland from Banana Republic has kind of overtaken it, but for a long time. I kept saying I prefer trade train away to green hours tweed. So I I'm with you. It's great. Manny, good to see you, sir. Felt like wearing these today. So I went with Vivamore Dubai Reserve. It's such a good fragrance. Gin Tonics back in stock on fragrance box from 138. Just grabbed the bottle for the spring. It's a gorgeous fragrance, too. Gorgeous stuff. Got some good smelling peeps in the chat. I you know, this uh this particular live chat here on the TLTG Reviews channel is notorious. For being full of great smelling sons of bitches. We got a lot of them here. Like not too often. I don't know if ever you're going to see me. So let's read whatever somebody's wearing. Be like, oof, bad choice. I mean, because everybody seems to have pretty good taste in the chat. They all, they all rock some good smelling stuff on a daily basis. Proud of you guys. A little tear, you know. Kalen, good to see you, my man. ATH legend. A lot of Aaron Terrence Hughes love in the chat today. Have a 23-hour shift ahead. Whew. Starting at 11 p.m. Should be great. Hey, as long as you're having fun with what you're doing. 
Let them know, Kyler. Let them know. Good to see you. Kicks Griffey, classic Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. I would assume that is definitely Kicks Griffey approved. Good to see you, sir. Literally walked in from work five minutes ago. Hope you're all having a nice start to your weekend. Sin of the day, Invictus Platinum, one that, as you would guess, I haven't worn in a while. That's my answer to most things because I have so much. Tooth Man Chill, Minty of Invictus Aqua. I'm not going to argue about that. That's pretty, pretty accurate. Eddie seems to be ready. IBG is letting us know that Eddie is indeed ready. Good to see you, Juan. Original Santal from Creed. Wore that one recently. That's a good one. That's a really, really good one. Spices, a little fruity, warm sandalwood. Giorgio Armani Attitude. Never tried it. EWJ, good to see you. Ethan, wearing signature citrine. Beautiful, sweet orange. And let's see. Abcromian and Fitch Woods. Now I'm wearing Gentleman Society. Good stuff. Savage Elixir. For $98. That's a great price, Kellen. You get the first soft live stream clap of the day, my man. Great job. That's that's a steal of a deal. Good to see you, sir. Welcome back. Always a pleasure. Latafa Liam, I've never tried. C plus Zephyr by Michael Malo. I don't even I've never even heard of that one from Michael Malo. I would assume it's some form of aquatic with C being in the name. Let's see, John. Good to see you, YEDP. Of course, that's a timeless at this point, modern classic. Noel, good to see you, sir. One more signature. Great coffee, sweet leather. Really, really good stuff. Drew, good to see you, sir. International Fragrance Day for everybody. Wearing Brioni Essential, which is uh, one that he won, one that he won in one of the member giveaways. Glad to see you getting some joy out of it. Arabian Horse from Alexandria Fragrances. Blue Oud. Nasuka. I think I've ever looked into that one before. Doesn't ring a bell. Jason, good to see you. French Riviera. Just finished my five mil decant. Can't find a bottle in stock online. I blame you for hyping it up. It doesn't come in stock easily. It's weird. I just had somebody in my comments earlier today tell me they saw it on eBay for like 250 plus. That's what leads me to believe that it's either just not being refilled at the moment or it could be discontinued. I'm not confirming that. I'm not speculating. I don't know for it because it's been a while since I've heard it being in stock anywhere. And it's not like it doesn't sell. So I don't know. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully a bunch comes out from uh, from Mansara to all the different places. Because we're rolling into French Riviera type of weather. That's for sure. Scandal EDT, have you tried this, sir? I have. It's been quite a while. I remember the caramel really standing out to me. It's been quite a while since I've smelled it, though. Viking Cologne, beautiful fragrance. Good to see you, Cody. Calitaly's in the house. Finally caught alive. Send of the day's Lacoste Loam Intense. Great choice. Let's see. Good evening from Germ Germany. Well, welcome. Glad to see you. Now, this time, I feel like you did it on purpose because I said yesterday that you always spell my name with two O's. I doubt you accidentally did it again when I called you out for it yesterday, Montrese. Because you, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I've been busting Montrese's balls the last couple of streams because he never spells my name right. He always puts two O's. Shout outs to Montrese. Good to see you, my man. I hope you're laughing because I'm just fucking with you. <clears throat> Ud Maracuja. I've heard good things. Burlington 1819 is amazing. I bought a bottle last month. Good to see you, Eric. I love it. Wife doesn't care for it. I sure love it. Speaking of stuff, I love men. Sarah Aquawood, great choice. A stronger Savage Elixir. Oh, that's what the, um, let me scroll back up. Where was it? Here we go. Blue Oud Nasuka. It's kind of like Savage Elixir, basically. Okay. Chrome EDP. <laughs> it is. A. Hey, it's phenomenal. I need to wear it, too. I need to wear it, too, man. It's become my favorite chrome. I didn't see that coming. Also, have to report Lamar is on its way. It just shipped from Joma Shop. That is still what I deem to be the best from the house. In my opinion, it's still the best from the house. But there's a few that I've yet to try. So we'll see. Eventually, I'll, I'll get my nose on everything and uh, can reassess. But where I'm at, Lamar is still the best. No doubt. He's the best smelling one. Burlington 1819 is a top contender for best fragrance I've ever smelled. And it's just, it, it's disappointing that my wife doesn't care for it. Same thing goes with like uh, Amwaj Overture Man. She can't stand that fragrance. I love it. 
never wear it because she flat out thinks it stinks. So I never wear that one around her. I've only worn it like twice, and it's because I was not going to be with her. I brought it with me on a trip where she wasn't with me. Um, you never know. You can't wear the stuff the wife doesn't like at all around her. Now, if she's just indifferent to it, is what it is. Still kind of sucks if they don't enjoy it. But, And that's kind of the case here. She's kind of indifferent with it. Like, oh, strong, back up. Whereas Overture Man, she's like, oh, God, that's terrible. It's like, Oh, damn, that's not what I want to hear because I think that's another one. Masterpiece if you like boozy and smoking. Tomorrow I'm going fragrance shopping. Can you recommend me some long-lasting summer fragrances on the more affordable side? Well, what's long-lasting on me might not be long-lasting on you. That's the thing. Now, on the more affordable side, it depends on where you're shopping. If you're going shopping at retail, then none of them are on the more affordable side. Discount places is where it's going to be on the more affordable side. That's actually more of a challenging question if I'm going to give you a real answer and not a generic bullshit, just throw an answer at you kind of thing. If I'm going to give you an actual like answer that has any kind of value, I need a little bit more information. Like, where are you heading to go fragrance shopping? Is it a retail establishment, like a department store, or is like a wholesale place, a discount place? Give me a little bit more info. Because as far as like I can go off of what's available online that I would consider on the affordable side. And I would strongly encourage Mansara. Because online, those are all in the $70, $80 range for 120 ml bottles. And that's on the more affordable side. And just name that freshie from them, and I get at least eight hours out of them, if not more in most cases. Literally anything, man, Sarah, that's fresh. It's, it's, that's, <laughs> you'll get that answer from me more times than not. Like Sicily, like so blue, like depends on do you like florals, do you not like florals? So they detail if you don't like the florals. Um, Wave musk, there's a really good one. Uh, stuff like that. I would look into Mansara if you want some bang for your buck. Day three, Del Mar. I need to revisit that one. I definitely need to revisit it. Let's see. How Ross Halfetti Black Rose. Beautiful, beautiful choice. It's a little heavy for the warmer weather that I've been getting lately. But, man, it's gorgeous. I was enjoying it while the weather was appropriate. Just left the gym after a huge, huge leg day. Rock and Aqua de Parma Colonia Club. Beautiful mint leaf fragrance. Glad to hear you had a great leg day. I had a great chest and back day today. Leg day was rough yesterday, though. It was a bitch to get through. And I wasn't super strong today either. Still cutting, you know, depleting more and more and more. But uh, still, I had a much better workout today, though. Unique wearing experience, do you mean poked in the eye as a pillow hits you as she points... You to the sofa to sleep. What do you mean? I don't fully understand what you're saying. Like, uh, I'm lost in what point of what I was saying that you're referring to. I'm sure you're being funny. I mean, clearly with the, the emojis and the LOL. I just don't remember what I said to trigger what you're saying. So I'm kind of killing the joke, unfortunately. I don't mean to. It's not intentional. I don't remember what I said to trigger that. My bad. Picture our truth. My bad. Five forty. Ooh, Baccarat Rouge. Five forty EDP. Great choice. My man. Tortillo Silver by Arabian Oud. Let's see. Tom Ford Soli Blanc. Have a nice weekend. You have a nice weekend as well with your beachy fragrance. You're rocking. Mincera Aqua Wood. Excellent choice. Rolling down. Royal Oud, Justin Copeland's favorite Creed fragrance. Afna 9 p.m., great choice. You're wearing Black Rose tonight as well, so we got multiple people doing that. Yeah, I like that fragrance myself. Lamal Lover or LeBeau Paradise Garden? For the spring, Paradise Garden. For everyday wear, Lamal Lover. That's much more versatile overall, whereas um, Paradise Garden really strikes me more Ideal for spring, but work in summer as well, but ideal spring fragrance. The way the ginger, the greens, the coconut gives it that tropical feel still. Um, I would say if you're in a warm climate, 
go Paradise Garden. It depends on your taste, though. Um, but I'm just saying based on what I would do. Paradise Garden, I like more. But if I were, want something where I get more than just two seasons, basically like fall and summer, because that's kind of what it is here is fall and summer. Even though we have four seasons, it's really two seasons of weather. Um, I think Paradise Garden is the better choice for a warmer climate. But if you have like somewhat of a real winter, Lamal Lover is going to be the all around the calendar better choice, I think. Now, this is based on my taste. I don't know. I don't know what you like, Ben. I would encourage sampling when available, though. I enjoy both. I very much enjoy both. I'm glad to have both. Bought them at the same time. Beverly Hills exclusive by Uniki Luxury. Brigmatic Law. Hope you're well. Send a day Saharian Wind. One of my favorites so far from Mancera. Great to see you. Excellent choice, too. Curtis, good to see you, sir. Wearing Coral Fantasy. Speaking of great choices. Sin of the night for a first date is going to be Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Well, best of luck on your first date, my man. I'm glad you came to see us and said hello to let us know what you're going to wear before you head out. I hope it's a great first date for you. I hope it leads to an eager and exciting second date because you both had such a good time on the first date. Great choice, too. Great choice. I think that's not a bold choice for a first date. It's an interesting choice because it's very appealing. It's it's the cherry on top to make you that much more interesting. A fragrance like Gentleman Reserve Privé on a first date. I think it's a great choice. I really do. You get the second soft live stream clap of the day. So best of luck on your first date, my man. I have not. I've never tried that one. Not familiar with it. Cam, good to see you, sir. Right back at you. Tarathi Blue, great choice. Blood Oranges by Shea in Blue. Never tried that one, AJ. Send the day Dior Sauvage and Tuxedo for the layering combo for my trees. Odyssey. I'm off Odyssey Aqua, just like Invictus Platinum. Noted. Rail Triple X for Eddie. Literally on my way to pick up Strong With You absolutely locally. And I have Strong With You tobacco on the way from a trade I made in the Facebook groups. Super stoked. You get the third soft live stream clap of the day because those are both awesome. Bravo to you, sir. My Strong With You tobacco is still right here. These two were my favorites of my recent haul from yesterday. CH Men Passion, Strong With You tobacco. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrances. Very spicy, spiciest of the line. And then with absolutely, you get the boozy one. That's the only boozy one in the line. So good. They're both so good. I hope you enjoy them. I really do. Oceania for Adolfo, great choice. At the FWO for life, that's what I'm talking about. Concerning Fall of Phaeton, finally got a message and it's supposed to come on Monday. Thank heavens, been waiting for three weeks. Damn. I'm sorry to hear that, my man. I'm glad, at least you're going to get it. Shame on the parcel service, but at least you're finally going to get it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Hello, fella. Got me NASA on. Oh, NASA model Baronda on in the UK. Hello. Hello to all the stink heads out there. Paul, thank you so much for sharing. I'm glad you're here. Baronda is the only one I've tried from NASA model. Beautiful, boozy fragrance. I've always wanted to try. Um, China White is what it's called, I believe. Kind of the cocaine fragrance or whatever. Something like that. The white one. I remember looking at the notes and I was like, I bet that's interesting. It's been a long time since I've looked. I think that's what it is. Is it China White or something like that? Let me look real quick. I, I, I might be getting that wrong. Yeah, it's China White. Okay. From 08. Yeah, floral, woody, powdery, smoky, spicy. Yeah, that's that's what it is. China White. I'd like to try that one at some point. Bucket list. Ooh, that's kind of tough. Because I do like both. Hmm. Springtime, Paradise Garden. Summertime, Asad Zanzibar. Because this is much more beachy tropical. This is much more spring daytime. Very because it's very green. Anytime it's a very strong green accord, smells really green, I, I immediately associate to spring, or if it's a heavy, earthy green, I associate it to fall. 
when it comes to greens, I think the transitional seasons, whereas this is straight up tropical. Ralph Lauren Bl Polo Blue Parfum, thanks to you. Video so underrated. It's hey man, it's my favorite Polo Blue. Cheers to you. Literally on my way to pick it up. Oh, it's a double type. It might have glitched. Sin of the day is a Mary for Robert. Good to see you, sir. Sin of the night was jazz. Sin of the, uh, sin of the day was jazz. Uh, YSL, I'm assuming. Sin of the night's Virgin Island water. Man. I'm eager. I pulled the cap on that one probably twice this week to sniff it. I'm eager to get around to our beach days because that's going to be um, some back in the rotation for those beach days. These very beachy, tropical vacation fragrances, which this is like the poster child for. I love to wear them in the right setting because right? I'm actually have that setting available at my disposal these days. So great choices. I never, well, as far as jazz, I've never smelled, but Virgin Island Water, I mean, phenomenal. Blue Chanel for Gary. Love Tommy. I got it. Haven't worn it, though. I might wear it tomorrow. Okay. Followed by Kerosene. About to wrap up this fine day at the office and ready for the weekend. Happy Friday to you, sir. I know another person that's eager for the weekend. I talked to Chad from The Gentleman's Journey this morning. He's uh, definitely ready for his weekend to get going. He was at work when I, we were doing some voice messages back and forth. So uh, shout outs to Chad. Anybody not watching Chad's channel, you really should. Gentleman's Journey. Amber Smoke, MM. MM as in Michael Malo or Mason Margiela, because I'm not familiar with the fragrance. Oh, you're the second person to let everybody know. Yeah, Gin Tonic. Yeah, somebody a little while ago brought it up too. Luminous Night. God, I couldn't tell you the last time I sprayed that one. I got the I got the inspired fragrance too, and I I never got around to doing a full review on that one. Or uh, the Fahrenheit Le Parfum clone. I never got around to doing a review on that one either. I just get so much stuff in. It's great fragrance, though. Great, great fragrance. Only 41 likes. Really? I am behind. That's true, too. So what I see is going to be, because I got 74 here, but I'm also behind in the chat. 142 watching. We got half. Half. We're better than this. That thumbs up for me real quick. As fast as you can do that, fast as you can blink, you can you can click that for me. Greatly appreciate it because it does indeed help with engagement with the algorithm to alert more people and have them come join us in the conversation. So let's see. Where were we? Here we go. Drought over the pond. Now he's had to cancel all international shipping yesterday. Damn. It's hard to hear that. Going to girlfriend's friend's birthday party tonight. Going to rock Tonka Cola. A lot of soft live stream claps today. You, sir, are putting that in the perfect setting. Fun night. Fun, casual night out of the birthday party. Bravo. Bravo. That's the kind of stuff I would want to wear to that, too. You guys are killing it today. All of you that, that have some plans this evening seem to be here comes the first real F-bomb. Y'all are on fucking point today. I am so proud of you guys. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all are killing it. I hope you have a great time tonight. I hope you get many compliments and just it's unparalleled that you're indeed the best smelling person there. Noted. Two years of blue bottle. Aqua Essenziale Blue. Great choice. Happy Friday, followed by Kerosene. We'll see the 6 a.m. It's 5.07 in the evening now. Still pumping. I forgot how freaking powerful this is. Now, not a strong projector on me, but the scent bubble that, that hangs around and lingers is, is always been pretty decent on me. And I recall getting every bit of 10 hours every time I've worn it. So I'm not surprised to hear that you're getting some pretty, pretty solid performance out of it. Glad you're enjoying it. I haven't. I've been asked about it a lot. I need to buy it. I need to buy it. I need to remember to do that. From Qatar, my friend got it for me. Well, you got a very nice friend. Let's see. Greetings from Wales, rocking black Afghano. A change from Brute, LOL. Yeah, that's a pretty drastic change, but we're getting a lot of Nasamato love here in the chat today as well. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Black Afghano, probably their most popular fragrance. 
Ah, it's going well, Adam. I can't complain. I can't complain. Happy Friday to you. Royal Oud by Creed. Another one. We got two people wearing Royal Oud today. Bravo. Great choice. Opening the Oud is in the inn. Mm. Give me some. Love the NWO tab. Brown is the brown. Browns is the Browns. I like it. <laughs> I like it. The Browns going to definitely brown at every point during the season. The Saints ain't no better these days, though. I would take the Browns over the Saints for, for a playoff favorite these days until we get it all figured out. So, oh, I'm that far behind that it's when I was messing with Montrese about spelling my name wrong? Damn. All right, I'm going to have to skip ahead. I do it on purpose, but I'll stop. It's, don't bother me. I'm just want to give just know I'm going to give you I'm starting to give you a hard time about it now cuz you've been doing it for a while. I notice every time, of course. I just haven't been fucking with you as much. Now I'm going to start fucking with you. Especially now that I know you're doing it on purpose. I'm definitely going to fuck with you. Uh, let's see. What's going on? So, I haven't tried it yet. I've been asked several times since I put a Ralph Lauren video out today. I've been asked several times about that today. I would like to get it at some point. Absolutely. I don't feel like I have to rush and get it because I'm sure it's not going to be anything special. I'm sure it's going to smell good and be typical designer release from them because I do enjoy the polo fragrances. Um, I might wait till I can maybe get it for a few bucks off. You know, it's not something that I feel like I need a mad dash to get, but I'm going to get it at some point. I'll probably get it before the year's out. I'm confident I'll have it probably within the next few months, next two months, probably. I'm sure I'll end up with it. And we'll talk about it. We'll probably unbox it here on a live stream. Kadlaj Shiaka. The Savage Elixir. Nothing strong. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it confused. My favorite is bondnumber9.com, which is a very fruity twist on Aventus. I think it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I only have two bottles. I have that in Bleecker Street. That's the only two bottles I have. I've had, you know, a bunch of bonbon samples. Some I haven't even opened. Um, and I've had some different decants. Hampton, Cinepiece. I've tried a few when I was at Neiman Marcus. Damn, I forgot I dropped this a while back. I just felt the corner. I was just touching the bottle. I forgot I dropped this a while back and chipped the corner. See that? Forgot about that. That was when I first moved in. I was putting them on the shelf. And my heart, my heart sunk. My heart hit my toes. It dropped so fast when I dropped this bottle. Yep. Took a nice gash. Good thing it's thick glass. Took a nice, nice little chunk out the corner. My heart damn near stopped when I dropped this. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Finally caught that restock on Fragrance Body. Yeah, they did restock quick, too. A few days later. They restocked quick. I was surprised at how quick they, they got a new batch of, uh, of fragrances in. So I, I apologize, guys. I am going to skip ahead. I have to because seeing the Montrese spelling my name wrong comments just shows me just how far behind I am. So I do apologize, but I'm slowly skipping down. So my apologies. Seeing, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm sure you've been seeing the FWO stuff in the chat, D. D, if you want to come jump on with me, just uh, let me know, man. All you got to do is say tag me in. I'll even – let me put my phone at an angle to where there's no way it I won't see it light up. So if you would like the link, please text me. <laughs> I'll send it to you. I promise I'll be able to see it. I put it in position. Because last time he had, he's like, man, I had been text you. <laughs> Let's see. On Kajawa Masa, I know you say sample. Do you think it's worth? Oh, yeah. 75 bucks? Yeah. I was talking to Mo yesterday. It was yesterday on my way to the gym. Mo from Kajal, the owner. And I was saying, you know, it's, I don't think Masa gets enough praise. He's had several releases happen around. He's got a new release coming in a few months. Um, and then, obviously, we have uh, Lamar Caviar. That bottle looks gorgeous. I'm hoping that's coming my way. Um, he said, depend, he's going to see what kind of stock he's got. He's like, I'm going to send that your way. Let me see what kind of stock we got. He's like, I know you love Lamar. Yeah, you're damn right. I want to check out Lamar Caviar. Uh, but point being, I was telling him like Masa, I don't think gets enough love when it comes to an everyday wear. It doesn't smell like anything else to me, but it's a very easy wear signature scent. 
It's fresh and watery and fresh green, and it's also green spicy, green earthy, and woodsy. It doesn't sound like it really goes together, but it works. It works so well. For 75 bucks, you blind buy a ton of fragrances, Eric. I promise that's an easier one. That's an easier one right there. I'm confident. I've gotten to know your taste pretty well over the last year and a half, two years. You're fine. You're fine. If you don't want to miss out on that deal, you're fine. Go for it, man. Sean John 3 a.m., the greatest atomizer of all time. All the FWO stuff. That's what I'm talking about. No cap. True story. Let them know. <laughs> all the FWO stuff. I love it. I'm Wash Dia, man. Good to see you, Jason. Hope you and the family are well. Let me skip ahead a little bit. So this gives me more opportunity to skip down. Here we go. Mr. M.A. Styles with the renewal. He's been a member in the past. Well, good to see you coming on back. Yeah, there you go. If you're in South Florida, um, that was, was that the comment that was between LeBeau Paradise Garden and Assad Zanzibar? Because I'm going to be real with you. And this goes for anybody watching, replay or live right now. If you're interested in Assad Zanzibar, don't let anybody scare you off. Only you, when you spray it on your skin, are going to know if you like it and how it's going to perform on you. It's 37 bucks. Any of you that smoke cigarettes, you spend 80 to 100 bucks on a carton. Okay? Any of you that eat Chipotle all the time like I do, if you get double meat and or, which I don't do these next things, get queso, get guac, get sour cream, you drop 15 to 20 bucks on your lunch. 37 is not that big of a deal when you put that kind of perspective on it. Look, I get it. Money's money. But you're going to have to blind buy this fragrance if you're interested in it. And there's going to be a risk that you don't like it, guys, because I keep seeing stuff because I've got some a couple pieces of content between long form review unboxing shorts scent of the day stuff like i got a few pieces of content featuring it so i'm constantly getting feedback every day from people about Assad zanzibar we're all big boys and girls you know when you blind buy a fragrance you're risking it not liking it or loving it or everything in between and it's not super expensive so i'm i get it if you end up not liking it you're like damn that was 37 bucks but guess what? If you end up really liking it, you're like, yes, it was only 37 bucks. So buy at your own risk, guys. So, Ben, if I, I think it was your your comment where it was between that and Assad Zanzibar. If you're interested in Assad Zanzibar and that, you get them both. If, you, if you're interested enough, don't feel like you have to. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's just my opinion. If you're interested in it, screw it. Get both, man. I like using them in certain instances. Hasn't it's been a while, but like I have a Sauvage one that's really, really good from uh from my perfume uh from oil perfumery. It's really good. Jonathan with the sign up, Adam with the sign up. We sure appreciate you guys. I know we're gonna see the yeah, custom emojis coming in hot. That's usually the case. I appreciate you guys. I've still never tried black Afghano. I know that's the marijuana fragrance. Ooh, yeah, beautiful iris fragrance. Very, very good stuff. haven't seen anything from Dedrick, so I guess he's not available, maybe. Or he might not be here anymore. I don't know, because I'm a little far behind. Selly, good to see you, my man. Good to see you, Dakota. Uh, I am wearing Roger Parfum's Burlington 1819. Not one my wife likes. She doesn't hate it, but she damn sure doesn't like it. Um, and I personally think it's a masterpiece. This is one of the more complex, deep, rich fragrances I own that I have such a high level of appreciation for. I think this is some of Raja Dove's best work. It's on the fresher side, but it does have a lot of dense notes. Very musky, almost body odor like musky, civet cumin type of stuff, but beautiful rum and orange citrus peel at the top. It's very well balanced. It's got a lot of nuance to it. It changes a lot. It performs great. It works for everything, but it does have some class and elegance. You can dress this one up all the way to black tie if you'd like. All the way down to a t-shirt. It's great. Great, great fragrance. I haven't smelled it in a really long time. I know it's very lemon, creamy lemon heavy. Lizzie, good to see you. Wearing Hugo Boss Orange Sunset. I did see your post on IG. Good to see you. Glad you would come hang with us for a little bit. 
also saw another review of yours about French Riviera, which you only gave it. Now, see, that was when I first got it. That was when I first got it. Then I started spending time with it. Got to keep that in mind. See, I, I'll get hit up like somebody will comment for a video that like three years ago. I mean, this isn't a three year difference. It's like a year and a half difference. The videos you're talking about. But like it happened the other day where they're like, I thought you said this. And it's three years ago. And I'm like, buddy, do you know how much has changed in three years? Oh, I didn't look at the date. You didn't notice I was fat. Oh, yeah, you damn sure were. I look a little different too. Kind of could tell you it's a different timeline. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm I'm just a generalized statement. You just happen to remind me of it. Because I get stuff like that all the time. All the time. Like, but you said this just the other day. I'm like, yeah. What vi how old's the video we're having a conversation on right now, my man? Things change, you know. But, but this is a glaring example. Like, I was just okay with it. Very good, 7.5 out of 10. And then when I started doing full wearing experiences, I fell in love with that fragrance. It's one of my 10 favorite fragrances in that entire collection behind me. Love Mancera French Riviera. Love it. I am the hype behind it. I take full responsibility for that because I have raved about that fragrance a lot since I got it. When I first got it, wasn't blown away by it. It was okay. It's very good. Not special. And I still don't think it's special. It's the wearing experience that stole my heart. You have to go through some wearing experiences with it. Just full wear sprays, wherever you like to spray and just go through your day. It's such a cool, relaxed vibe. That fragrance is its own vibe. And that's what I love about it. It's not a special scent. It's not. When you just sniff it, it's not anything like crazy, unique, special. But it's a really good wearing experience. That's the most important thing to me. How do I feel when I wear it? Does it, make me, does it put me in a great, positive place when I wear it? That's what makes it special. So there's your explanation. I did explain that just now. So you happen to ask that on the follow-up. Uh, fragrance by. Fragrance by I see my man. Did I just see my phone light up? That is. Mr. Dedrick Hicks Jr., I'm sure. That is indeed Mr. Dedrick Hicks saying he is not coming talk to you guys he does not want to see you guys he said screw you guys it's not what he said daddy daycare is going on right now he can't break away <laughs> i hit you up if you're still on that's cool yeah we'll, we'll be on for about an hour and a half for sure we're only 38 minutes in so i'll be on for at least another hour if you're able to just hit me up and, and uh, I'll, I'll shoot you actually i'll just shoot you the link now to get it over with so you have so if you can jump on you can just jump on whenever yeah, he didn't say that, guys. I'm just talking shit. Invite guests. I'm going to send it to you on IG, D. Whoops. There we go. All right, it's in our chat on IG. Put that back right there. Kara, good to see you. You enjoying it? Do you like it? We were just talking about it. The spritz with Pop Fritz. Good to see you, sir. Just got back from my local brick and mortar frag shop. Picked up three discovery sets. What'd you get? Let us know. Let us know. Another one wearing Assad Zanzibar. Oh, so you were talking Michael Malone. Yeah, Amber Amber Smoke, I think, was the name of the fragrance you mentioned. Yeah, I never, I've never heard of it. ATA is going to have an American base of operations soon. Oh, damn. So everybody bought them up already. Because Dedrick really liked Gin Tonic. Him and Chad, when I went to see both of them in that 24-hour span, they both really liked Gin Tonic. Elysium, Sin of the Day, hanging out with the wifey, great choice. And no matter which of the three it is, I like all three of them. So no matter which one you wear, you, sir, smell fantastic. Let's see, scrolling down. Um, That's an interesting question. If I was able to attend the WWE Hall of Fame event, it'd have to be something that would stand out a bit. That's a big crowd. Probably something along the lines of an Amber Oud from Raja Parfums or a Leather Tabak from Zaharoff. Something with real potency, some dark edges, but very assertive. Something like that. Raja Parfums, Amber Oud, or Zaharoff Signature Leather Tabak. No worries, Jared. No worries. 
Yeah, it flew off the shelf, apparently. Let's see. I had somebody mention that in my comments earlier that I'm going to love it, that it dwarfs the limited edition Parfum. Supposedly, it's another Aventus twist from them. They're still putting out Aventus twists. But the comment I was told is that it somethings like dwarfs or shames or belittles, something along those lines. I forgot the exact word that he used. Um, the uh, the limited edition parfum that of overdrive. I mean, we'll find out the shirts and the hats. Yeah, we'll find out at some point. Uh oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. I still haven't tried it yet. And home my son this evening while my wife goes and sings her first gig in a few years. Send the day Givenchy Preserve Privé for the rainy weather. There you go. They are in the works. That is fantastic. I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't know. I keep getting asked. That's the downside to talking about something that's hard to find is everybody's going to ask where to get it, where to get it. <laughs> I bought it from Fragrance Buy a year and a half ago. Like right when it came in stock, like the day it came in stock the first time. I was eager to get it. Um, I did a little freshman Sarah Hall. I haven't seen it in stock anywhere in a while. I don't know what to do to help him, man. I'm sorry. Thought we were getting spring weather in New England and the temps drop. It's been raining most of the day here. Got a proposal tomorrow. Pretty formal in between Prada Black, Angel Share, You Own Absolute. Ah, if you're going pretty formal. I'm you poem absolute is not even like that's an afterthought for me. If we're talking angel share and Prada and Rosa black, my opinion, of course, this is what I would do. I think I'm going Prada and Rosa black here. That powdery, ambery tone, something about it. The sweet boozy. Don't be wrong. Angel share smells amazing. If you're looking for compliments, you probably go that route. Prada black can still pull some compliments for you, but it's got a little bit of mystery to it. A little bit more elegance. I think Prada Black, if you're going pretty formal here, that's just me. That's my thoughts on that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank God it didn't shatter. All right. I got to skip down some more because apparently I'm still very, very far behind. So my apologies, guys. I'm having to skip around. Wow, I am so far behind. Holy crap. My apologies, guys. What's up, Randy? Wearing baby cat today. Hope you're doing great. I'm stuck at work. At least you smell great, right? What spring fragrance are you looking forward to wearing? What fragrance were, would you recommend for this spring? Um, I've kind of been wearing them because, I mean, I'm, I'm down by the beach on the Emerald Coast. I've been getting spring weather most days. I get some cool weather still here and there. Um, anything green? Pretty much how I roll. Um, blue fragrances, denser blues that are based around tonka bean that aren't just aquatic. Basically, blues that aren't just aquatics, and uh, and fresh greens. Anything of those two. It's not even one specific fragrance, really. Um, I have several spring fragrance videos that have come out with some of the stuff that I've been wearing, though. But things like Aqua Celestia Forte from MFK, John Barbados Artisan Blue are like my two favorites. That's my two main go-tos. Uh-oh, so anybody still looking for gin tonic? Dedrick, there you go. So it sold out on Fragrance Buy. It was $138 at Fragrance Buy, but Vim Vimba's got it for $149, 11 bucks more. So there you go. Yeah, that's exactly what they were talking about. Good looking out, Randy. I have to drop off. Have a nice evening, Lizzie. Thank you so much for coming and hang with us for a little bit. I do like it. It's a little different. I get the iris incense. And vanilla is the most out of it. So for me, the way the incense comes out with the vanilla, it smells like roast. I've said it a bunch of times. It smells like roasted tonka beans in the dry down to me. I don't find it's a heavy incense. Um, the iris offers a little bit of a soapy kind of powdery floral feel for me. More so than like anything earthy or super lipstick smell. Um, but it's a nice saltwater aquatic coconut smell. In the top. I like it. I like it. I gave it an 8.5 in the full review. I like it. 
great, super longevity, unnecessary longevity for me. Great choice. Great, great choice. Sweet boozy leather like CH Men Privé. Hmm. Interesting. Sweet boozy leather. I mean, Velours Boise from Jacques Foth keeps playing in my head. It smells like niche Bentley for Men Intense. Much smoother, much higher quality in this similar scent profile. I can't help but think of Velours Boisset from Jacques Foth, and it was like 65 bucks or something that I paid from Fragrance Buy. I don't know if it's in stock right now or not, but you can find it all over for probably under 80. Great performance. Best magnetic cap in the game, Jacques Foth. Unreal. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Jacques Foth Velours Boisset. Incredible fragrance. Okay, haven't smelled chrome aqua over there a great deal. Should I blind buy that? Ah, uh, that's a um that's up to you. I think it's a safe play, chrome aqua. A little you know, fresh citrus aquatic, grapefruit aquatic, and uh you get a little bit of an herbal green feel from this mate note that comes out pretty good, like early. It's good. I mean, I don't think it's a bad blind buy. I don't think it's a dangerous game with something like chrome aqua. Or Club de Nuit Siage. Just know it's a, it's super synthetic up close, but out in the air, Club de Nuit Siage smells great. Just up close, it's like smells really cheap. But like I said, out in just your scent cloud, it smells great. My tuxedo from Indochino for my wedding just arrived. Fifth soft live stream clap of the day goes to Noel. Congrats, my man. Things are progressing. You're getting closer. How far out are we from the wedding now? got to be in the realm of like six to eight months at this point i want to say last we talked about it it was about a year out ish how far out are we now they just moved into their new home by the way guys mm. okay for a suit and tie there's two that always come to mind right away for me these are my go-to zaharoff signature pour home raja parfums scandal parfum cologne those two that's i'm if I'm wearing a suit and tie tonight, which I haven't had a reason to wear a suit in a while, I actually my suits would not wear would not fit me. I couldn't even tailor them to fit me right now. I need new suits. Um, big difference, not the same physique <laughs> uh, from when I was I was selling cars. So, as far as the best going for going out to a nightclub, you're probably gonna want something powerful and sweet. If you're attracting thotties, that's what you're looking for, I would assume, hitting the nightclub. You're not looking for your you know, potential wife. So you're going to want strong and sweet. One million flankers of some sort always do the trick. Eros, timeless for that situation, but a little dated at this point. I would say to step your game up a little bit, maybe go the route of... Because ultra male is too easy of an answer. Alt, ultra male and off nine nine p.m. Those are too easy of an answer. I would think something like Invictus Victory, perhaps not Victory Elixir, Victory, and then perhaps it's another good one. Sweet side Lamal Elixir, perhaps. I think that'd be another good option. Sweet, very strong. People are going to smell you. Very attractive. Stuff like that. Bimba is indeed legit. Galloway, soapy floral, pepper, clean musk. Easy everyday wear. Doesn't get any love. Good stuff. I haven't worn a long, long time. I have a bottle. So you didn't order it based on my review because I've never smelled it, let alone done a review on it. I know all of us white guys with beards look the same. I get told almost daily in comments that I look like Eminem. Disagree. Thanks for telling me that all white guys with beards look the same. And I don't just mean you, Shannon. I mean, I get that every day. Do I look like Eminem to you guys? I don't see it. Aside from a brown beard, I don't see it. 
don't have the same facial features, bone structure. Don't get it. Not Marshall Mathers. Not. So I don't get that. It happens daily. I mean, I'm not fucking exaggerating. Daily. Usually in YouTube shorts. Because in YouTube shorts, that's where the random fucks show up most of the time. The most random of one-time viewers show up in YouTube shorts. Not as much with the long-form videos, especially not the live streams. But YouTube shorts, who knows who's showing up in those comment sections. But I get told literally on a daily basis, at some point, one person's going to say, look, it's Eminem. What? No, I I don't agree. Do you guys let me know. Do y'all agree with that? It is good stuff. It is good. I've always called it the on the prowl scent. Both. Both would work. I wouldn't wear Baccarat Rouge. For a first night, a first date, I wouldn't choose that. Kamrakawa is actually a pretty bold play because it's so strong, but it'd probably be the better play on a first date, I would think. Water Wave, have you tried Gucci Intense Oud? No, I have not. And Oud Malaki, I have a clone from Paris Corner, Killer Oud, Death by Oud. It's really good. Spicy, smoky leather. Good. We got a double type here. So like it's very different. Oh yeah, I forgot to say the coconut. I do get the coconut as well. It's a cool, different fragrance. Glad you enjoy it. Let's see. I still gotta keep skipping. I don't comment much, but I've been subscribed pre one thousand subs. Yes, you have, and watch the lives often. Wanted to pop in to say I appreciate the time and effort you put into your channel. Immensely appreciated, Kasim. Thank you. And thank you for never changing your avatar either. That's how I always recognize you because your avatar has been the same for the entirety of this channel. Some people will come and go and they'll remind me, hey, it's so-and-so. But there are a few channels that have been around from the very beginning, the very first few videos, such as yourself, that uh, have never changed their avatars or anything. So, man, I sure appreciate that. Thank you for the long-term support. It's been almost five years. Crazy to think, huh? I appreciate you, sir. I think so. I quite love it. I quite love it. EGE and Caragos and Jumbo Shop Cart, but I need to see if I can find better deals. I mean, EGE is cheap. Comparatively, I paid like $85, $90 from Fragrance Buy for my 50 ml of EGE. Let me look at what it's going for. They only have the 100 ml right now. 100 ml is 136, but I paid under 100 for my 50 ml. It's out of stock right now. Over there, 100 ml is 136, though. Just throwing it out there. I don't know if you're looking for a 100 ml. I wore that yesterday, e.g. So good. Coach Green smells like a greenly mixed with Sauvage. Definitely smelling Broxen. Instead of apple, it's kiwi. So a green fruitiness, woodsy. Um, I believe cypress is in there. I mean, it smells like Embroxin's in there, too. Like I said, it smells like Greenly Meat Sauvage. It's solid. It's not special, but it's, it's a good everyday wear. If you want something mass appealing, get a couple of compliments. Yeah, it's good. It's good, not great. Sure is. Has been for over three years, three and a half years now, something like that. Been full-time on YouTube for a long time. So... That's an interesting one. I wore the Intense a few days ago. Depends on your climate. That's the thing. You have a very warm climate most of the year, because then I would say the original. If you have a relatively decent cool spell winter time frame, intense, intense might work better for you. Because it's a lot warmer. It's spicier. It's much heavier. It's very strong. Um, very leathery. So I would encourage trying getting a sample, trying both. That is redundant to have both, but I'm also happy to have both. For my climate, the original is probably the better option. But it's cool enough to where I wore the Intense, like literally like three days ago. Two days ago. Good to see you, E. Savage Elixir is another great choice. They are going to smell you. That stuff is crazy strong. It will definitely be on you all night. Yeah, it might have been Ashton. It definitely wasn't me. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never smelled it. I've been asked about it a bunch of times. I got asked about it a little while ago in this live chat. Yeah, I need to buy it and review it. I haven't tried it yet. 
I've never tried that one. Uh, Lord Despoir Ombre from Paris Corner is really good, though. I have that one. That's really good. Come on out. Don't you do go agreeing that I look like Eminem? Because I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. To health. Do you feel there are risks as far as endocrine disruption and so forth? I don't look at things like that and overcomplicate it. It's just fragrances bring me joy. And... Uh, now, do you have to? Do you have health conditions that force you to ask stuff like that to where you need to be concerned with that? Then I understand why you're asking. But generally, no, I could care less. Doesn't affect me. Doesn't bother me. Never crosses my mind. You know why? Do you shop at grocery stores? Do you buy any processed food and eat any of it? That's probably worse for you than spraying the fragrance, spraying fragrance oils on yourself. That's always my go-to when somebody wants to talk about health risks with drinking these or, in your case, asking about health concerns with spraying fragrance. Now, I'm not saying there aren't genuine risks with either. Of course there are. But if you have any nicotine habit of any kind, any prescriptions, pharmaceuticals that you take, these man-made chemicals, and or eat any eat and drink anything processed, you're more at risk with that, which we all do on a daily basis. So that's why I have the attitude of never crosses my mind. Could care less. That's the most honest answer I think you'll ever get from anyone that you ask this question. Where's the lie? You know what I mean? So, again, if you genuinely need to, like you have an existing health condition where you need to be concerned with that, I understand why you ask. But for me, I don't have that worry. I don't have anything existing where I need to concern myself with it. So I never have concerned myself with it. Does that make sense? Now, see, that that I could get. I get more of the Bubba Sparks than Eminem. That kind of makes sense a little bit. I haven't seen Bubba Sparks' face in years, though. So <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. That's funny. C to U to the B to the A. Roll my motherfucking music. There we go. Shout out to Cuba. That's funny. It could have been Angel. Eminem, LL, not one bit. Thank you. It's like comparing spaghetti and pool noodles because they're both noodles. I appreciate that. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, John Carlo. But you do look like my little brother. That's funny because Randy looks like my little brother. That's funny that you say that. Uncanny likeness. That's wild. Slim Buff Bagwell. Now we're talking. <laughs> that's funny so that those came from Amazon they're 200 bucks a piece this one's 100 but the, the multi-tiered ones are 200 uh, iron something they're industrial strength like each individual shelf can hold 100 pounds they're very sturdy got to if you're going to put a bunch of fragrances on there a full shelf of fragrances is very very health, he very very heavy Simple, but that's the art of it. Yeah, I agree completely. I totally agree. Fred Durst. I've gotten that before. I got a comment the other day about uh, that I need to stop with my fake gangster Fred Durst attitude. Didn't know I was trying to be gangster or Fred Durst, but thank you, dickhead. Not you, just the dickhead that said that the other day. Uh, it's funny. That's recent. And I love Limp Biscuit too, so that's why it's like kind of funny because it's like I do like Fred Durst. So... For as long as I've been following you, I never thought that. You know what? Ross looks like him and him. People just say anything. Yes, they do. He, he's one of my first like 150 subscribers, maybe. Maybe even in the first 100. He's been around the channel the whole time. Here we go. Notes to Azrak. Tops, top notes, pepper, lavender, cardamom. Mid notes, incense, patchouli. Base notes of vanilla and tonka bean. Bet it's good. Gucci intense oud for Robert. Right back at you, my man. Raymond Noodle Spaghetti. There you go. Nope, never getting married unless it's Halle Berry. So you're never getting married then? Are the A B are there any good fragrances with stronger grape notes? So the only one that comes to mind that has a white white grape and quince note is my Greek lover from Untamed Perfumes. Now it's pricey. It's high level, super, you know, loads of naturals, super high quality niche, independent niche. But Untamed Perfumes, My Greek Lover, 
work of art. White grape and quince dominate the top of that fragrance. It is amazing. I haven't worn it in a long time. And Jared, who's a comment right above, just got it the other day and messaged me raving about it. It's it's that jam. It's funny that you ask about grape. That's the only thing that comes to mind. And it's phenomenal. It depends. They're hit and miss. There's risk involved. You don't know if you're buying counterfeits or not, unless you get to know the place pretty well. That's 100% what it is. So I said, besides the beard, there's no facial structure resemblance. It's literally the beard. No, no, I haven't yet. She's the problem. There you go. I have it. I have it. I think I have a full review on it, too. Last year was a Harris exclusive. I believe I have a full review on it. Let me check my YouTube studio real quick. I believe I have a full review. I mean, I know it's been in content. I just don't remember if it was a full review or not. Nope, it, it wasn't in, in a... Let's see. Let's go to description. Polo Oud. So here we go. So here's a video. 10 best fragrances from in to buy in 2024. And then it was in a few weekly rotations as well. So, yeah, I don't have an individual review on it, but I do have it. Um, it's very woodsy and a little on the spicy side, I, as you would imagine. Not really all that funky of an oud, but it is a nice release. It was a good addition into that line. Now, I don't get polo green from it. I think they just threw it in a green bottle and said, hey, it's a polo green fragrance. We're putting you in the green line. But it is a really good fragrance on its own. Definitely worth a sample. Not some funky, crazy, challenging niche oud, very designer synthetic, but very wearable. Very, very wearable. Good to see you back, sir. Does Ambroxan smell like cleaner to you? In some instances, it can. People say heavy Ambroxan. Maybe it's something else I'm picking up, but I don't know. I mean, it depends. It depends on the quality of the Ambroxan, but it can. I, I get where you're coming from. I use Parfumo. I go to. I still use Fragrantica from time to time because I won't have a choice in certain instances. Base Notes is another place you can go to. I Fragrance um, is a good place as well. They've only been around for a few years though, so their database isn't as stout. But when it comes to brand new releases, they're usually first to, to drop info. So there's other places. You don't have to only use Fragrantica. I try to limit my usage with them. But Parfumo is my main one. Let me do a screen share. But we do it all the time on here. You've seen me use Parfumo a bunch of times. You're, you've been in my live streams many, many times, sir. Sir. This is Parfumo right here. Been looking at, been debating on buying some hats, so I'm getting hat ads. But here you go. In fact, let's. Let's take a look at Polo Oud, since we were just speaking on that one. Right here. Highly rated for the 21 ratings that it has. Woody, spicy, sweet, green, oriental. Clary sage, absolute. Pink pepper, cinnamon, orange blossom, absolute. Rose, absolute. Frankincense, resin, guyac wood, oud, patchouli, vetiver. And you do get a nice smoky tone to this one. You really, even though they don't list smoky, the frankincense and guyac wood combo does jump out. There's a nice smoky tone to it. Even comes across a little leathery. Like this oud combo, this oud frankincense combo is probably what gives it that, but there is a little bit of a leathery facet to it. It is good, performs really well. It's good stuff. But yeah, this is Parfumo. Here you go. They got all kinds of breakdowns for different things. Stuff people rate, who rated what, and so on. Like it's yeah. It's a useful tool, that is for sure. All right, so I'm skipping ahead a little bit, guys, because I'm so far behind again. As soon as I stop and start talking for a moment, I get behind. Scrolling down. Sorry, guys.
Hello from the UK. Shelf life out of the box. Uh, it depends. That varies. You you really, it's hard to judge if you store properly and your room's climate controlled and you keep them out of direct sunlight, you're okay. I mean, years and years and years and years and years and years. Like I have some fragrances from the 90s. They're still fine. I have a bottle from the 2000s where this, the citrus soured at the top just a little bit and after two or three minutes, it's fine. It goes right into the heart. It smells great. It's the a, a vintage Nautica bottle. I've got Tiffany for men from 1994. Uh, there's citrus aromatics people buy that are 30, 40 years old that they just love and the citruses aren't even spoiled. So it all depends on the storage, the quality of ingredients, obviously factors in as well. Some company through TikTok, which don't even post on it anymore. They're sending me Polo 67 and Vetiver Musk. I was like, mm, okay, two brands that aren't connected. <laughs> Hey, more power to you, Randy. That's awesome. I love it. It's one of the best mint fragrances I've ever smelled. The spearmint and incense combination is mwah, magnificent. Crazy strong, too. Crazy, crazy strong. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's expensive for a 30 ml, but it's a lot of naturals. It's, it's high-level perfumery. It's really, really good. Performance is phenomenal on them. Yeah, they're really, really good. Uh, so 99% of the time, it's fragrance buy. I am affiliated with them, and I do buy a lot of stuff from them monthly. I have another pet. The live stream we did yesterday, I bought from them. I bought some more fragrances from them. That in, you know, Beginning of next week, mid-next week, roughly, we're going to do a live stream unboxing those fragrances, too. Most of the time, I buy from FragranceNet and eBay and places like that, but most of the time, it's Fragrance Buy. No, I didn't know they dropped a new one. Atlantis was pretty good. I don't care what the trolls on the internet say. Atlantis is good. I'm curious to see what their second outing is going to be. Ooh, great question. So, French defense. Easy question. French, French Defense, the best cherry fragrance I've ever smelled, ever, 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 ever. And I don't even have a bottle yet, but I will have a bottle. Mark my words, I will have a bottle. Second, and now this is kind of hard for me to say because I love Blockade, but Viri is my number two. Citron, fresh and green, pink pepper, vetiver, you know, woodsy. I love Viri. I've grown to really love Viri. I love Blockade, though. Mango and Pink Pepper Heavy Aventus. It's amazing. I would encourage everyone to try Blockade, but if you want to step outside of a twist on Aventus, Viri and French Defense. Very different fragrances. Very beautiful fragrances. Soulful Sense, Tay. You done changed it up, huh, Tay? $4.99, Super Chat. We have similar taste in rose notes. I'm curious, what's your top five rose fragrances? So Signature Rosé is number one always. I highly doubt that's ever going to change. I was literally talking to George last night, telling him it's an absolute freaking masterpiece. Literally was saying that to George last night. Um, number two, Adonis Awakens from Argos. I would say, and this is, I have, I still haven't gotten around to getting a bottle. My decant's been empty for a long time. I used to have a 10 ml, but Lyric Man from Amouage doesn't get any love anymore. And it's still that good. It's a very year round wearable masculine rose incense, fresh notes. It's really good. Lyric Man, still that jam. I don't care what anybody says. That's an easy top three for me. Then we got to go into Signature Black Rose. People can say whatever they want. Yeah, the two rose fragrances from Zaharoff. I love them. I don't care what anybody says. They can call it bias. They can, what it, the fragrances are just that good to me. So both the roses, rosé and, and black rose. So there's four. Now five can be interchanged with a, a bunch of different Manceras. There is no true fifth because there's so many rose heavy Manceras that I enjoy from fresh to heavy. So that's like so blue could easily go there, which is not a real popular Mancera, but it's a very powdery aquatic rose. Very aquatic, but very powdery rose at the same time. Rose, I would call it more of a rose fragrance than anything else. More than it is blue, that's for sure. But that's one that I can easily slot in the five spot that kind of jumps out in my mind. But thank you for the super chat. Blue Notes starts off uh, heavy violet, creamy powdery, fruits, citruses. Uh, 
dries down more creamy than it starts out creamy. It's very powdery up front. I actually have a full review on that one. If you type in TLTG Blue Blue Notes, I have a full review on it. It's phenomenal. It's underrated. Very underrated. It doesn't get any love. Good stuff, though. John Carlo, good to see you. Have a great night. Dan Stank, good to see you, sir. Totally agree. Totally agree. Enclave is the best smelling fragrance I've ever gotten my nose on. Tempted to wear it every day. If you like mint, it's damn good. I love Freighter's Buy. I'm so happy to be affiliated with them. I love shopping with them. I always have. I'm so happy for that. Thankful. Not just happy. Thankful for that. Great place to do business with, both as a content creator and as a customer. They're a great company. I have nothing but great things to say about Freighter's Buy. I hope I work with them long term. Love them. Really do. Oh, damn, he got you, huh? Volcanus, the king of the Super Chat, has arrived. Always flexing a great scent wearing Hachibot, sir, as per usual. I, mean, I know you're not going to be surprised to hear this. You smell fantastic. Great to see you. Appreciate the Super Chat. Appreciate the $5 Super Thanks on the comment earlier today as well. Always welcomed and appreciated. You, sir, are the real MVP, and I'm happy to see you, and I hope you have a happy weekend. They definitely work faster than fragrance that most of the time. And Joma Shop. I bought stuff from Joma Shop. I'm, there's a couple things I'm debating on buying from them again, even though I don't use their affiliate link anymore because I just don't like how they'll take your money if it's on back order and be like, oh, it'll ship within two weeks. And I, I don't like that. They've done that to me a couple times, and that's when I kind of stopped and left them alone. I stopped using their affiliate link and everything. But there's some things that they've been having that Fragrance Buy hasn't had. Um, I actually have a loaded cart that I'm debating on getting. Maybe we'll do a live stream and I'll, I'll do a little shopping. And then within maybe one of the streams next week, we'll go shopping on Joma Shop's website. Let's see. Just open my hibiscus. Mahaj. I've never even heard of that one. Hmm. Who's that from? Yeah, according to the comments on for granted, everything smells like shit and piss. It's a glorious place. My favorite is the forward. Everybody's got a favorite. Anybody that smelled multiple mind game mind games fragrances is gonna have a favorite because there's a lot of great stuff from them. For sure. I agree. Bountiful. So blue atlas bountiful. Bergamot tree sap, violet oak moss, vetiver, cedar, pink pepper, cardamom, sandalwood, musk, hyacinth. That's got potential. That note breakdown has some potential. I'm going to have to check it out. Money for some lotion. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Lyric Man's beautiful. If you've never tried it and you like anything on Waj, it's got their signature orientals in it. And it's a very fresh rose fragrance. It still has the or the incense and the spices and stuff, but it's very fresh at the same time. And it's really strong. Even newer batches, I'm confident, are still strong. It's been a couple of years since I've smelled it. It's been in and out of my cart a bunch of times. I keep putting it off. I will secure a bottle at some point. I, like I said, I had a 10 ml. It took me a long time to go through that 10 ml, but I did go through it a few years ago. I've just procrastinated getting a bottle. Go for it, man. If you're passionate about it, roll with it. Why the hell not? I guess the law to be that ashy. There you go. <laughs> Y'all giving D a hard time. D, you better, <laughs> you better go grab some Cetaphil, Cetaphil or whatever and, and throw that on the elbows because apparently <laughs> apparently, Jason's saying you're ashy, my man. Fragrance Buy is one of the best fragrance discounters in the game, plus located in my hometown. Usually get packages back within three days. That's impressive. Hidden Gems has arrived. What's going on, my man? Another Dust Bowl to cover the Midwest of the U.S. Okay, So we, hour 15 in, we'll hang out for at least another 15 minutes and we'll shut it down. Appreciate you guys coming and hang out with me. Tobacco Rose is very rich. I've never tried Oud Rose Intense, though, but I had a decan of Tobacco Rose. Um, it's very thick, 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 jammy rose. Heavy fragrance. Not for the cooler, not for the warmer weather. I would never. Also, it's Maison Crivelli. Okay, good to know. Oh, the toilet. There you go.
No habla. <laughs> no idea. No habla inglés. I have no idea, man. No idea. It's random cool front came through like several days ago. It got down to like in the 30s at night over here. It's weird. It was very weird. I don't know. Let me double check. Did I miss Dedrick? Nope. Dedrick's still uh, munchkin watching. So. You know, while and out. It's been a little while today, but nothing crazy. Nothing unmanageable. Ooh. So I have the Eau de Parfum. It is quite nice. It is quite nice. I haven't tried the EDT or the Cologne Flanker, but the Eau de Parfum is very good. Cardamom heavy. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Damn, we're playing the dozens out here in the chat. Wishes to thwart my plans to cover the world in ashy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're sitting here playing the dozens on one another in here, revving on each other. So I'm actually at the bottom of the chat. That shit never happens. Let me check out China White Rice. Also, Burning Barbershop. I still need... I, I, when, when I was at Neiman Marcus... They had a bunch of DS and Durga, and that's the one fragrance I asked for they did not have a tester of was Burning Barbershop. That's definitely what I want, but China White, I, I need to try. I've, been, that's, I've put off doing it. It slips my mind. Anytime somebody mentions Nasamato, I'm like, I still want to try China White, um, and eventually I will. It's I've always found it interesting that they only make those 30 ml bottles, and their caps are pretty much as big as the bottle. Very artistic, but still wearable. That's what I'm saying. I, I love a good barbershop fragrance, and I've heard nothing but positive things about it, that it's, like you're saying, kind of a unique barbershop fragrance. Color me intrigued. I would definitely like to check it out. Let's take a look at the notes. We ain't doing shit else. Why not? Smoky, spicy, woody, fougere, resinous. Just that alone, doesn't that sound incredible? To me, it does. Hemlock fir, lime and spearmint, lavender absolute, Turkish rose, tuberose, burnt oil, hay, and vanilla. Pretty highly rated. 7.8 out of 1050 ratings. Similar to several darker fragrances that I have not tried any of. Hide from Haram Green. Birch tar. Burning oil lamp and turpentine. So that person is not a fair. Not a person. Not a fan. Not a person. What's wrong with me? Not a fan is what I meant to say. Because I was reading this as I was talking and it made me trip up. My aunt is a painter. Because I'm like spending time. It's quite a small room. Brushes. I mean, very vivid description. And when, see, this is a real review. This is a real review. This isn't that bullshit you find elsewhere. So Nosy Cat, even though it's clearly an unfavorable review, you get the sixth live stream clap, soft live stream clap of the day for keeping it real on the forums and just giving your real opinion on a fragrance. Need more of that, less bullshit, more of this. Slightly different hairdresser's visit. Okay, we've got another interesting take on the fragrance. So surely it's some kind of weird fragrance artistry again. Have created something fancy. However, I just trusted my first barbershop fougere since, including among the others, the masterpiece Invasion Barbare. That is a masterpiece, as well as performance grade Beau de Jour. In contrast, so another real review. You gotta love when it's actual thought put into what's being typed. Kudos to both of those people. So yeah, that's definitely one I've been, you know, that has eluded me that I've been wanting to try for quite some time. Pretty well, pretty well for the most part. I'm on the weaker side right now. I've been fatigued going into the gym the last couple of days, even though I had a high carb day on Sunday. But I was gone most of the day. I really didn't eat as much as I needed to. So it really wasn't that high carb of a day. So I didn't really refeed the way I was supposed to because we were gone most of the day. So I only got like three meals and a snack in. And they weren't crazy heavy meals. Like, uh, for example, we ate at, where did we eat at? Outback. We ate at Outback. And I had an eight-ounce filet with grilled shrimp, which is only four, four shrimp, sweet potato, and double steamed broccoli. 
and I did eat some of the bread. But that was the biggest meal and the bulk of my calories was that meal. And I wasn't that bad of a meal. You take the bread away, it's very sensible. So, and we have a special guest. Uh, apparently, someone's wife has arrived home. <laughs> Got the cheesy smile with the thumbs up. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the FWO proudly brings to you the future WWE Tag Team Champions of the World, my main man, Dedrick Hicks Jr. What's going on? What's up? I, I can't complain, man. It's a beautiful day. How about you? Um, it's gloomy here, but it's still a great day. I'm alive and I'm well. My family's well. Everything around me is going really good. Off work today, so I got to chill with my kids and, you know, do the dad stuff. Yeah. So can't complain at all, man. And now I'm with my tag team partner. As soon as my wife walked in, I said, hey, Take I have a title. I said, I have a title match. <laughs> She said, uh, she says, Ross. I said, yeah, yeah well, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, what's up, so, man? So speaking of title matches, when's our next wrestling stream? Man, I was we actually looking at three we're supposed night. to do soon. So so we have three. I'm, um, the Bleach Report thing that we and you are looking at probably won't be done for another week. So it's going to be another press, week. Bunching up for Mania here. So we're going to be press. We're going to be press. So I will be calling you on Sunday. I was going to text you. That I was going to call you Sunday. Kind of plan so it Sunday, out. Sunday. How about I text you when I'm free because I'm going to be in the tattoo chair midday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, my artist works from 10 to 5, and I'm going there right about 1030 because he's late every day. He's yeah, supposed to be there again. His ass ain't going to walk in the door till 1020. So 1030, I'll be there sitting in the chair. All good. Day. I'm free. I don't really got too much going on on Sunday. So you just let me know when you're available. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll plan it out. Yes, sir. So that's going to be for, uh, for a Mania Night 1 stream? Mania Night 1. We're going to be doing Mania Night 2. And we got a special video we're going to be dropping covering the top 51 superstars in WWE history, which is an intriguing list thus far. Thus far. Because I love that it's specifically WWE superstars of all time. Because now it's what me do too. they mean to the company, not yeah, wrestling of all time. I love that. Because it's a very specific list. Yes. That's gonna so we're going to have a lot of fun on the Sports Test Live. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. head over. Sports Test Live. we got multiple, multiple lanes of content over there. So <clears throat> appreciate the support. So what are you wearing today? Uh, I tested out Paris Corners uh, Royal Oud mm -hmm. um, today, which is a Creed Oud Royale clone. Um, I've been Creed eyeing Royal it for Oud. about two years. I've been eyeing it for two years, and I was on Aroma Concepts looking for that mango punch it's and um, that you talked about. I got it. I was able to get it. Oh, it's back in stock? No, 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 no. This was this was when you did the live stream. <laughs> so, That's right. I wore it a couple nights yeah. ago. So I have it. I have it. The wife now has it in her possession. It's hers now. I'm sure. Because she, she loves it. But, yeah, I saw <laughs> that. They had a nice little, um, a nice little mm -hmm. discount on it. And I was able to use TLTG 10 on the Roma okay, Concepts. So use it. From 10%. Use it, my friends. TLTG 10. And I got them in. And it's really nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. Did you so, get Pear Potion as well? I did not. It was sold out. I'm it was sold out. I like it more than Mango Punch. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I like I the to orals to Mango Punch. Don't get me wrong. I really like, okay. like my initial impressions. I liked Mango Punch more. But the more I've been wearing the two. Pear potions, just that jam. Fresh, sure it's fine. zesty. It's got some spice to it. Man, it's still juicy right. fruit, but not super sweet. Man, it's, it is that jam. I think I like it more. I'm sure it's fire. I definitely yeah. tried to get it. <laughs> I definitely tried to get it for sure. But I'll keep my eye on it. I was able to secure gin and tonic, so I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Look, that, didn't Shout out enough, that didn't get enough praise when it dropped. And everybody was saying, oh, y'all are just saying it's good because y'all got free PR bottles. Nah, you man. Get that mind, you're out there mind. Nah, man. That, I'm going to tell you right now. Because it's free, it's good shit. Out your mind. Any viewers watching live or watching the replay, get that shit out your mind. I can right. tell you right now, speaking on behalf of both of us, that's not the damn case. When we get something for free, we either like it or we don't. And whatever we're telling you is what we genuinely freaking feel. And gin tonic 
continues to impress. And that's one of the reasons when I went see this man and Chad, I brought it with me. So was good. they had no idea what they were smelling. They just knew that whatever they were smelling was fantastic. So and when good, I showed man. it to them, they're like, really? That's gin tonic. Yeah. Now they put I'm so Chad's excited been talking about bottle. getting it. This man's been hunting down a bottle. It's great, guys. I'm so excited to have hundreds, it. It's worth grabbing. Yeah, and a great price, man. Shout out Vimba. And I had some uh Vimba cash left over from some other purchases, so I was able to get it for like 119. So it's a great price, um, way better than retail. I'm excited. And down here in Florida, mm, <laughs> it's gonna work. And like Ross said, for I didn't I, I didn't know what it was. Um it all I know is I was mesmerized by the smell. I was mesmerized by it, and it was so fitting for what we deal with down here in Florida. So I'm super stoked of uh, getting that bottle. As a matter of fact, just a little nugget, Ross. I chose between that and buying Blue Talisman today. So I set Blue Talisman to the side, and um, I went with Gin and Tonic today. Yeah. Well, the plus side to that is Gin Tonic hasn't been popping in the discount as much, and Blue Talisman's so hot right now that you kind of need it to calm down anyway. Yeah, it's going That's to be kind of what too. I'm waiting for for the the hype to calm down a little bit, so it's yeah. easier to get. Yeah, I almost bought. I was this close. I was on. The, I was online doing some shopping today, just trying mm-hmm. to line some stuff up. And um, actually, I was <laughs> I was putting my baby in his little play chair, and I had you playing, and I heard you say, "Well, there go you go, it, Dedrick." Dedrick. <laughs> Randy said it's on the bimble. I said, "Oh no!" Drop the kid right in the chair. <laughs> Stay right here. I'll be right back. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> when it's secure, my bottle. So I'm excited. So shout out Randy, man, for letting you know that it was on Vimba. Because I would have yeah, never Randy, looked at Randy on the lookout for sure. Yeah. Excited. I'm happy. Excited. As you for should sure. be, man. It's a great fragrance. Especially we got summer around the corner. You know what it is. I'm ready. <laughs> you man. know what it I'm is. Ready, I'm here. ready for all yeah. these broccoli heads with the podness to roll out of my town so we can get the, <laughs> uh, the locals enjoying the beach, man. Because it was yeah, raining going today, so my gym was chock a blocked. Chock a blocked. <laughs> man. I bet it was. Everybody was out. In and and I just go, it deflates me when I walk in the door. Because I knew when, yeah, it, sure. when it was raining when I left, it's going to be loaded with people. Sure enough. And they're expanding right now, thank God. So they got a, a truck full of hammer strength equipment going to be coming in the next couple of days, they were telling me. Okay. Because okay. they had a, a room for like, classes and stuff that the women would do they've totally they carpeted it and tore down the wall and everything and it's all gonna be all like three rows of hammer strength equipment they, it's now uh the whole gym's a total of like twenty two thousand square feet now oh they're blowing it up yeah man they've really they opened up a different room area like they bought the building next door to do the class and they already finished that they do the stu- that's the studio for the classes now and the bigger okay. room that they were doing it in before is now expanding the actual weight lifting area. So, and they have a different deadlifting area, cardio. Area. Like they really have expanded. Love the gym I go to. The only downside That's is so important. the only downside to it is it's the place to go if you're serious. So everybody coming into town wants to get catch it. Oh, that's where I need to train while I'm here. Yeah, honestly, it is where you need to train while you're here. But please don't come train here while you're visiting. Please stop loading my gym down so I don't have to have three-hour workouts. I know how it is. It's a hot spot. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason it's a hot spot. I totally get it. That's why I'm a member. It's great. Hot spot like, central, for sure. For sure. So anything exciting going on this weekend? Um, This weekend, um, me and the wife, we're going to go hang out and do our thing, kind of float around the city tomorrow, Um, just kind of do our thing. I may go live tomorrow night. We hit 15K last night, which was an epic stream. Uh, I saw thank you having you, the thank you. on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it was an it was an epic stream, man. One of the it, it, one of the top five or ten I've ever done. But uh, other than that, you know, we, I'm just really vibe. I'm just enjoying life, man. I really am. Really enjoying my kids. They're growing up. Um, just kind of really enjoying what I've been blessed with. Um, I, I don't do I don't do complaining. I just really don't. I don't really see any benefit in complaining. Um, I know life gets hard sometimes and gets kind of head scratching, but I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying life. So I'm just looking forward to the next day. If the good Lord sees fit to let me see it. So 
um other than that man i'm I'm doing well we're doing well family's good everything is going as good as it can go so i can't complain can't complain that's what i like we'll not complain life is good that's i i view it that you know nobody cares if i'm gonna complain once in a while i'll bitch about something like goat sure sure. so those of you that heard my goat story yesterday you know i don't mean an actual goat for you those of you not familiar i mean where you buy shoes so Mm. i talked about how the day the 14 the flint 14s drop they were 60 bucks below what i paid for them which was 20 bucks over retail. Mm. the next mm-hmm. day they're they're at 232 so it was just the day they launched you could have got them way below retail so i'm not as upset now it was just a one day thing cool with that <laughs> okay all right now if it would have been moving forward yeah i want my 60 bucks but i'm good with it now <laughs> it made me feel a lot better i went check today they were 232 in my size and most sizes around mine so i'm like oh, yeah. i feel better because i paid 240. So it's like, okay, I can live. I've been done like that with the uh, infrared sixes uh, with the Nike Air on the back. I paid like 260, 274, and this was a couple years ago. And the next day, the next day in my size, they were down to like 230. I immediately emailed customer service. And they said, What are y'all doing? Three hour window, huh? Correct. Yeah. So go. Great place to shop. I've been able to get a lot of sneakers, and I, I don't really publicize my sneakers like I used to. But trust me, folks, it's yeah. like that over here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. But yeah, I feel you would go. They can be funny sometimes. <laughs> Frustrating, man, because I got the Flint Gray 14s and the Powder Blue Nines on the way. Powder Blue Nines oh, are right. literally on their way. They already made it to go. They're they're heading my way now. Flint oh, Gray 14s haven't, haven't been in the mail to come to me yet. They're still getting authenticated. It's a hell of a year for sneakers, though. I'll tell you that much, but a hell of a year. The copper foams, I'm getting them. It's happening. That's in the holidays. The black and wolf gray twelves, I'm getting them. The black toe fourteens, I'm getting them. And that's just the few. I'm not remembering everything else I want. This is going to be one of the biggest years in sneakers for me in a long time. Well, I read something on sneaker news. They said a lot of the releases that were slated to come out during the pandemic, they had to reslot them, up. reschedule them, and now they're catching up. What's up, Gerard? How are you, my man? Shout out, Gerard. What's up, man? Shout one out, Gerard. Pretty, He's one of the prettiest men in the fragrance space, right there. One of the most beautiful men <laughs> in the fragrance space, and he has really good content. I really yes, like Gerard's channel. Really like his channel. He, I'm, I'm gonna anoint you as the rack store king now, Gerard, because it's pretty much over for me, man. I never find shit anymore. You always find it's, that is your gig now, man. That is your gig. Yo, he's 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 coming in strong, man, with the rack store stuff. But he does a great job on his channel yes, for, sure. for sure. Yes, he does. Yo, well, shout step, out Sam Broom. Brother Sam Broom's in the house. What's going on, big bro? Sam, How are you? What's up, man? Good to Hope see you. Hope you're doing my well, man. man. Yes. What you know about my stepbrother Sam Broom? That's my guy, man. Me and Sam my been guy. chopping it up for a little while, man. That's he's a good dude. Guy. Yeah, for sure. Good dude. Uh oh, Ryan's wearing Bonnie from Day Three Fragrances. Headed out tonight with Philosophia, so he's enjoying his uh samples he got from Day Three. Hell yeah! Let me talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> he said he'll take it. <laughs> he don't mind For other sure. guys telling him he's a pretty man. He's like, I know it. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. He- all the time. I get it. <laughs> Deal. Yeah, Gerard's good dude, man. So Ali asks, Laventure mm. Intense thoughts. I've never tried it. Is that the I think is that the Creed clone? So Laventure is an Aventus clone, and I believe the Intense yeah. is another twist on Aventus on top of that. So I smelled either the original or the Intense. And I'm I just gonna speak of what I smelled. I can't remember. A buddy of mine bought it. He wanted me to smell it because he wanted my thoughts on how it compared to um uh Club Day Nui Intense Man. Mm-hmm. Um limited edition, the limited edition. Mm-hmm. So I still go with the limited edition. It's really good though. It's kind of like grapes and oranges. You know, which one do you like? So, so this one um, seems to be more of a twist. It's pretty highly rated because this one's more about yeah. citrus and fresh. So yeah. they're still saying Aventus, but it seems like a fresher yeah. twist, but not quite Aventus cologne. No, it's not. Um, the, from yeah. what the one I smell, it lines up with the Club Day Nui Intense Man. But the limited edition is, in my opinion, the superior of the two. But it's good, though. It's good. Same thing with LaVentura. Seems to be the, the same note breakdown as the Intense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I just figured it's I had like to see... Go ahead. No, it's kind of like when you see Club de Nuit, Intense Man, EDT, and then you look up the EDP, the notes are the same. 
kind of in that same aspect. So they're around the same lines, but it's good though. It's good. And then you look up the limited edition and you're like, that's a different note breakdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I heard the new flanker apparently is the one. They put another Club de Nuit event this twist out per show or something like that. I've been hearing about it all day in the comments. Let's oh, see if they got it. Okay. I'm off. It's in the Club de Nuit line. Hmm. Let's see if it comes up. Let me just do Club de Nuit Intense and see if it comes up. Mm, no, I don't see it. And what is it called? Presho, Preshu, something like that. It starts with a P, the name of the flanker. Hmm. It's a Club de Nuit Intense Man Flanker. And I was okay. told the, the comment I got earlier today was about it being so much better than the limited edition parfum something along it belittling dwarfing or overshadowing something like that like a dramatic way to say it's better like really putting emphasis on the, this is the one somebody that's a big deal that. so naturally deal. naturally i'm gonna have to fucking try it now same here the the limited edition is my favorite mine too like so, you're sitting here telling me it's better than my favorite of the bunch gotta see you my interest <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we got to find out. Mission accomplished. Good job. You, you're successful. <laughs> you know? Okay. Okay. Glad to see you two collaborating. Well, uh, yes, while sir. you and I are stepbrothers, he and I are tag team partners. So we are the FWO. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy goodness. Sure. Cheesy goodness. It's, it's it. great. It's great. It's great. It. Money Mitch. So here is a member of the Anuai family. I don't know if you've ever met Mitch here online. He is no, I think you mentioned him to me. He's a cousin to Jimmy J and Solo. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. That's dope. Yep. What's up, Money that, Mitch? That, What's happening? I mean, this is who I always refer to that always calls me Oos. Ever since he found out I'm a fan of the family, he always calls me Oos now. So this is That's Money dope, Mitch. My man. man, he's been following me for first couple hundred subscribers. Mitch has been around a long time. Wearing that black. Yeah, I never see mm. you in the live chat. I'm glad you're able to catch it, Mitch. Good to see you, Oos. So I don't think... If I remember correctly, Kushik stopped using the codes because we had a conversation a while back about pulling the code off of my uh, link tree because he just changed the prices. Instead of doing the codes, he just lowered his prices altogether for everybody. So I believe the mm -hmm. codes don't work anymore unless he does a special holiday sale. Considering buying the Roly Portofino body lotion, what do you guys think of body lotions in general? Now, I heard you were getting roasted about lotion earlier. Is this just the ultimate segue? Because <laughs> Jason is getting one uh, <laughs> Right now, Jason well, Archer is laughing his ass off right well, now. Well, who was getting roasted about who was getting I roasted he was about being ashy? a hard time about being ashy and getting lotion. Who, me? No, I he couldn't. He must be talking about Jerry. No, he had to be talking about Jared. Oh, uh, Jared. Jared, Jared okay. will say, I um, I'm sitting about around. you. No, Jared to say I'm sitting around being ashy today. So that's oh, something that he'll say. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, I messed up. My bad. Debbie, no, no, it's my all apologies. Good. Jason, my bad. I mixed it up. So it's the bishop that's ashy. The bishop. The bishop. The ashy one. All right. Yes, sir. So um, I, I'm not a body lotion guy, really. I'm Aren't not you? either. I'm not a body lotion guy either. No, sir. Looks I'm like not. we got Gerard trapped up in this stuff with the new flanker, too. So the limited's his yep. favorite as well. That's how they get us, man. All it takes is one viewer to come yep. to a couple of reviewers that and say, this is better than your favorite. Now well, we're interested. Now, because it's not like <laughs> it's going to be expensive. Even when it first drops, it'll be like 60 bucks. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to find it. out. <laughs> I'm going to find out. Oh, Sam was out of commission. Sam, you was having some health issues, my man? What's going on? We shall think oh, so. We haven't discussed that. We have not. Another conversation no. that needs to take place. <laughs> Something we can use in the streams. Well, I do. Just to let you know, I do have some um, movement on the FWO t-shirt and hat for me and you. Um, yeah. Buddy of mine is is uh, secure the font, Hell the correct yeah. font. So maybe in the next week or so, we'll be getting some steam on that. So I'm working on it. So. As far as and I know somebody's going to ask, as far as any merch goes, we're, we're not there yet. But to create the visuals about it, 
Yeah, same here. Dude, it's a great man, bro, he messaged me after. He's like, seriously, bro, I need a shirt if y'all do shirts. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm. Trust me. I know this is going to be a thing. It's very fun, funny. It is fun. I love and, it. Um, we're going to push this for sure. It's really good. So, yes, soon. I hope we can have them for the Mania streams, at least night the night two stream, because that's going to be the week I'm up. working. I'm working on we got it. A little time. We got a little time. As long as we can get them for the Mania night two stream. That's the last stream before Mania. I'm working on that it. Trust awesome. me. Trust me. I'm working. <laughs> Hell yeah. Down since day one, Oos. Yep. For sure. Can't find Kenzo Porum EDP anywhere. Discontinued. I doubt it. I doubt it's discontinued. They probably just don't make up make enough of it too quickly. With same thing with French Riviera. I, I just think that not getting to refilling them quick enough is probably the case. I don't think it's discontinued. What do you think, D? One, I still have that on my list to smell, but I thought I saw it the other day on fragrance by dot ca the other day so i don't think it's discontinued maybe it's kind of sold out but i thought i saw it the other day when i was doing some shopping still on my list though i have never i haven't smelled it yet still on my list ah uh, it's out of stock right now yeah i thought i saw it yeah yeah it's out of stock right now and they don't have it sometimes when it's restocks coming up they'll have a little date in red next to it and they don't have one today mm -hmm. let's see Next thing you have to figure out. Orchid leather, gambit musk therapy. Oh. He's just putting a bunch of names. Wow. I see. Jesus. Just a bunch of random fragrance names. Oh, look, he got a not sense not, hall, man. Not a not a comment, a comma, not a, a not so I, I see it at the end. I just want to give him a hard time. <laughs> yeah, he maybe he was so excited. I mean, look yeah. at that list. He just started going. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the screw the punctualities. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> yeet or no yeet, <laughs> man. Because it's tough. Because Jimmy has been hilarious. It's easy to say Jay, right? It's, it's easy to tough. say Jay, but Jimmy has Jimmy's been, been doing such good character work. I he love is the promo. The funniest man on TV and wrestling right now. I love his response last Friday on SmackDown. How he answered the challenge, but it's easy. To say Jimmy, no, it's, it's easy, easy to, to say, say Jay. Jimmy. No, for me, it's no, easy, to say, it's easy to say Jimmy. See, I would think the consensus overall, if you say yeet or no yeet to the, the just the WWE universe, yeah, 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 whole majority I mean, overwhelmingly is going to be yeet, right? Yeet. And that's the easy answer. And I really want to lean that way to Jay because I'm all about main event Jay, so I really am. Uh, that's the, livest, that's the livest shit I've ever taken part in as part of a crowd is him coming out. I got to do it for the Rumble. I got to do it for Raw, and I loved every second of it. While Pat's on the table doing it and everything. Oh, yeah, we have all up in there. Getting it's after a great it. spot. It's great. Pat's, Pat's about Pat to fall on top of coal. Yeah, Pat gets after it every time. I love it. And yeah, I have to say, great. because of the fan interaction, it makes Jay – that much more appealing, so I got to go yeet. Then on top of that, or, I have a yeet shirt. I have a main event so shirt. I do you not do. have a no yeet shirt. Maybe I so need to I get my no yeet. I got to stick with main event Jey Uso and say yeet. That was a long, long-winded answer, wasn't it? That was a great question, though. And then great on top of that, is that damn cover. There's no wrong yeah. answer. That's his family. Yeah. Good with his both, family. You know? What a great night for them. What a great night for them coming. What a great weekend for them coming. Up. I love how Jay even said, I'm getting my dream match in the promo the other night. Because and it was real. Off camera, was they, real. They, they've, they've talked about that in interviews in the past, but for him to actually put the realism in the promo on it the was mic, real. It was that great. That was awesome. It's going to be a great spot for Mania for sure. Them two are going to try to steal the show. They're going to tear it down because they know that the this house is down. their chance. This is going to be the highlight of their career is, is their match at Mania. No matter what championship hey. they get in the future, that's going to be Showcase the best of match ever for them. Showcase of them mortal. I'm so excited. You see how excited I'm, I'm getting for that? I love Jimmy and Jay, man. Mm -hmm. I'm big. Can't Uso. wait. Health has been great. Well, that's good to hear, my man. For sure. Absolutely, Cam. <laughs> you have to, so it was Cam's idea. Get, yes, yes, it was. I know. I, I will be getting your information, sir. I will not let that go unpaid. Trust me. 
So FWO, <laughs> we're trying to figure out the tag team name live on the stream, and FWO is is clearly low hanging fruit, and for some reason we didn't think of it. And Cam's like, why not Fragrance World over? It's like, holy shit, why not? So crazy, so crazy. Why not that? So crazy, it's so easy. <laughs> It was a great spot on the stream. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Make sure you can ship sure. to Canada. I will buy for sure. Okay. We got, yes, we got a yeet. Going to get leather mm -hmm. patchouli from Montal today. Cannot decide on a freshie from Mancera Montal around the $60, $70 range. What do I get? I would get French Riviera, but can't sell my leg. Yeah, don't do that. That's never been around $60, <laughs> 70 bucks. That's always around 100 110 when it is at discounters. Hard I've to heard get. it's like two, three, two or three hundred on eBay right now. Don't do that. It's not that serious. It's hard to get. It's not that serious, guys. It's not the greatest fragrance you'll ever smell. I just really love the feeling. <laughs> of it. It's not right. the most amazing freshie ever. Uh, do you have anything in particular from Mencera Montal that jumps out to you as far as fresh? I got a bunch. Mencera or Montal fresh. Uh. Off the top of my head, uh, I mean, Vetiver Sensual kind of covers that. It does. Um, the the Vetiver in there is soapy, clean, beautiful citrus and pink pepper opening. Um, so it's not an earthy Vetiver. It's not going to scare you away. It's very complimentary. A little vetiver bit of smoke, one. but not much. A little bit. Yeah. And then um, how about Wild Fresh? fresh. That's, I never smelled that one. Never smelled that one. I can't wait. I heard you summer. talking about it every day. I can't wait for summer. It's such a summer yeah. fragrance to me. It smells like the third Sidrat Boise. You take all the, the leather and the leather and the head. Now it does have cedar in the base, but it's more of a clean musk base. But if you take the heavy okay. cedar and the leather away from Sidrat Boise and you just add even more citrus, freshen it up, you get wild fruits. Even though wild fruits well, came thanks, out before Cidrat, it came out before Sidrat Boise. But it smells like it's in the family. Thank you for making me add something else to the list, my friend. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? Oh, D, I'm sorry. I hate to introduce you to a great fragrance. My bad, man. <laughs> it really is great. Well, I mean, it made it to my top 15 out of 40. I saw the video. A epic video, by the way. Thank epic you. video. Sure. I, and yeah, I realized yeah. when I was in the last five or six how much longer I was going for each one. So I had to point it out to people like, I get it. I'm talking yeah, yeah. About segments, but I got so much more to say because it's my absolute favorites, you know? It was like you were given an explanation on why they were here. <laughs> and you were just saying, you, yeah, and you was like, look, not going to get away from this at all. I want y'all to know why. <laughs> Because, well, dude, it was, I, I knew I was going to have to hear video. about Hood Lemon Mint. I knew I was going to have to hear it in the comments Great from video. people. Oh, and, boy, that was the one. That was the one kept coming up. No Oud Lemon Mint. What about Oud Lemon Mint? I can't believe not Oud Lemon Mint. One after I see one. In, I see one in the comments here, that no, one that never gets talked about, Aoud Blue Notes. That is I good. I about a little while ago. Aoud Blue Notes is good. It's so underrated, but it's good. It's good. <clears throat> It dries down oh, very tomorrow. creamy on my skin. It starts off nothing like that, but it gets very creamy floral on me. I might wear that tomorrow. It's good. It's have really a, good. Great. Have a in a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rumors Rikishi's going for Jay. I think Rikishi's going to make an appearance. There's going to be a lot of the dynasties going to show up because the two nights of mania are all about that family. I'm not. I, I'm so. I am so nervous for this. I don't know what it is. When I think about Mania, I just get like, I get like an uncomfortable, like anxiety when it comes to this thing, because there's so much going on. I can't remember a Mania anticipating sitting there and not only one night, <clears throat> two nights. So if Rikishi no. makes an appearance, the dynasty makes an appearance, God bless God bless. I think it'll be great. So we got a vote for Melody of the Sun, which I did get a few people asked that, you know, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't there. Because there's a lot of 8.5s and 9s that didn't make my top 15. Because I just love the house. There's low 8.5s and 9s from me. Because his house. work just speaks to me. Silver Blue, Melody of the Sun, those are easily two that could have made it. 
Oud Lemon Mint could have made it, but it's like I had to really break it down with what do I want to wear more often? It's not just how yeah. special the scent is. What do I actually yeah. think about reaching for more than the others? And it's those. No, no, no doubt. You know, I agree with that. I agree with that. Because I like all of them. Like, there's literally not one where I'm like, Ugh, I'll never wear this. Not one. Yeah, I only have 10. I have 10 from the house with plenty more that I'm trying to get. So I got an eye roll and from plus, the wife. Where's your, oh. <laughs> I got an eye roll from the wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise I won't keep him too much longer. Not too much longer. No. <laughs> shout out EQ. Yeah, shout out EQ for sure. Shout out EQ. That's my guy. So that's Antonio on Antonio on his wife's uh, profile. Good to see you, sir. Wearing okay. plumbing cognac. Damn, y'all, y'all time out. Yep, I'm gatekeeping this one. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. All right, let's see. Fougere Royale from Hobogant. I've heard good things. It is really good. I have a sample. You have it as well? I have a sample of it. It's really good. Talk to me I about it. I think you definitely. Uh, Fougere. Barbershop style fragrance, um, kind of got an old school feel, mm -hmm. um, but it's um, very clean. Put it to you like this: you're stepping out your house, man, and and you just want something clean and refined, but you want something with just an old school feel. But it's not too old school to make you smell like a granddad. You like the cool, the cool uncle. You know what I'm saying? It's one like of those fragrances cool. when you walk out the house, the man just walked out the house. Pretty much. Pretty much. You feel like the man. Pretty much. The man's man. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. The I have a sample. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a bottle eventually, but I've been wearing that Eight and Bob Egypt a lot. And uh, it's probably my favorite Fougere barbershop right now, Egypt. It's really you, good. You just made Joel's Matrix very happy. He's a fan of that one. He's an Egypt fan. Matter of fact, he, yeah, he, and he, kept, he kept bugging me, telling me, D, D, Egypt, Egypt. And I saw it on Vimbo for like 80 bucks and I bought it. So it was good. Reminded me of the smell of the hairdressers. Well, not everything's for everyone. I get it. Sure. Sure. Happens. Sure. Thank you for the suggestions. I'll add Melody the Sun and Vetiver Sensual. It's my to get list. I'm going to get wild fruits this time around. So am I. At, <laughs> all three of those are great. Literally all three of those. If you, you could literally write them on little pieces of paper, put them in a hat, jumble it around, close your eyes and pick one and whichever one you end up with and you buy that one, you're going to end up happy. Right. Right. They're all really good. All three of those options. So whichever you get first, it won't be the only one you get. I mean, Mansara is its own rabbit hole. If you like Pierre Montal's work, because not everybody does. Well, yeah. If you well, end said. up liking his work, let's say you try two, then three, then four, and you like, you just happen to keep really liking them. I'm not right. saying you're going to end up with 40 or 50 of them, but it's a rabbit hole. You'll start wanting to venture more down his library. That's what happened. Yeah, well said. Well said. Well said. I mentioned Wade Musk earlier. We talked about it. We talked about it. Just not in this exact instance. I didn't bring up Wade Musk. Or Wade Musk. I think. <laughs> Jason and Jim sips and sniffs tonight, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. First live stream on YouTube tonight. Show love. You heard Terrence. Go check out I'll Sips be there. and Sniffs. So until – did y'all set it up as a premiere? Because now if you did, people can find the channel. If there's still no content, people won't be able to find the channel. Do you know if they set it up already, D? I didn't see anything. I followed the channel, so I didn't see anything or them premiere. I didn't even know they were going live tonight over there until so he I just said it sips and sniffs with uh with the n and it didn't come up now i tried sips and sniffs and it didn't come up so it's not up on the channel yet uh, let me let jason let me let because i know they're getting ready to go live in like seven minutes so let me let yeah, jason I mean, we'll know. Be shutting it down here in a few minutes too yes sir ferris kind of smells uh, a lot of people relate it to sauvage the way the lavender comes across it's a very spicy aromatic very green Barbershop style. Um, mm -hmm. but a lot of people relate it to Sauvage. It's kind of like niche Sauvage in many ways. It's far superior to Sauvage. I want to make sure to be very clear about that. Far superior. It's good. But it is good. But that's what people will most relate the scent profile to. It's like, a, asking. it's like Sauvage's older brother. More mature brother. That's the brother with a career. That brother's got Yeah, who's doing, 
That one, that's, that's the me. brother that mom's not worried about. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the one that ain't living with mom no more. <laughs> right. Yeah. He Bob has to come over. Live with mom. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For he sure. said, yeah, it's a whole thing. I have 18. He's got 18 Manzeras. <laughs> It's really good. Great house. Eric is from Spirit of Kings, Bulgari Tigar inspired. Indeed. They'll be on IG. So they're doing the multi-platform stream. Okay. Yeah, we'll do good another stuff. five minutes, get to the two-hour mark and shut it down. You good with that, D? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. We're chilling. We're chilling. Anybody have any final pressing questions while we're still here before we shut it down and turn things over to, uh, to Hidden Gems and Jason? Let's see. Anybody heard of the new Icon Elixir? Icon Elixir from... As in Dunhill or Antonio Banderas? Because that could be either. If it's Icon Elixir from Dunhill, where is it at? Yeah, because I know you're a fan. That's why. Yeah. Icon, Icon, that's Antonio Banderas. Unless there's a Dunhill one that got announced, but this is a 2023 release. Oh, okay, okay. Unless there's a Dunhill one that got announced like recently, this is this is a you know late 23 release apparently. Notes look good. Fresh citrus, cardamom, ginger, orange, geranium, lavender, salty notes, amberwood, cedar, guyacwood, musk. So very woodsy, very fresh, spicy. I bet it is good. Hmm. Notes look real good. Yeah, notes look good, man. Most look good. The three Never people that, that rated one. it seem to have rated it high. There's no written reviews yet on it. Okay. Very 2020 masculine. what release? 2023. Okay. Okay. Because nothing came up for Dunhill. Yeah, nothing. Nope. Uh, I almost got way too excited, so thank God. Unless it just <laughs> got announced. I mean, there's always one website to go check and see. High fragrance. Mm-hmm. If... if Anybody knows, they'll know. Close that off. Only downside is they have a ton of ads. So we might as well look at, and I was going to save this for another stream, but we might as well look at Luna Rosa Ocean Le Parfum, right? Oh, yeah. I got my Probably. sample right here. <clears throat> oh, you already got You already tried it? Nope. I'm going to be doing it on a video. What, do a What's so. in the bag? No, I'm going to do a dedicated video to this one. Okay. Um, Get so the I'll view. drop it early next. So, yeah, I got my sample yesterday. So, looking forward to it. Bergamot Accord Iris Essence Vetiver. I'm a fan of the line. A fan. Mm-hmm. Love the EDT. Really enjoy the EDP. I like so the EDT excited. more than the EDP, personally. Me, t- me too. I'm in the same vein as you. In the mm-hmm. same vein. And then let's check out John Barbados 20 Intense. That's another recent announcement. Love the crackle on the Oh, bottle. look at that. Love the bottle. Look at that. Yeah, yeah love the crackle. Okay, what we- what are we talking about there? Let's see. Let's just get to the notes. Ginger flower, bergamot, verbania. So very fresh up top. Mm. Damascone. I don't know what that is. Cyclamen is going to be a little aquatic. Geranium, roasted coffee beans, tonka bean cedar wood. So this one's a little hmm. all over the place. Hmm. Let's see what they're saying here. Raw I energy and electrifying try. intensity of rock and roll. This edgy and bold fragrance for men is for men who live life at full volume. Step into the spotlight with JVXX Intense. This rich, pulsating, and seductive twist on John Barbados XX. Original is injected into the new fragrance notes for a whole new level of intensity. The blend opens with a spicy yet enticing aroma of ginger flower, fused with the zest of bergamot and laced with verbena. The heart is is comprised of a blast of masculine florals, which they list all of them here to further ensure the rugged masculine energy. The robust blend rests on the strong base of coffee beans, tonka bean, and cedar wood for an enticing yet energetic scent trail. It's an aromatic amber is what they're classifying it as. Well, I can't wait to try it. It's got potential. It's an interesting note breakdown. It very is very all over the place. I'm super it intrigued. It's going be really bad or really unique and good. I think yeah, I think it's gonna be <laughs> just by looking at it, it's gonna be the you love it or hate it type vibe. I can mm-hmm. this only is assume. Area. Only assume. Yeah, I'm excited for it though. I'm excited Tooth for it. Man flanker. Yeah, nothing about icon. Any icon flankers? Okay. Well, so I'm glad I get, get to kind of calm it down a little bit. The other, uh, split screen on these the other day. So, yeah, no Dunhill icon elixir, my man. Not yet, anyways. Give it time. 
I'm good. <laughs> that'll, that'll get on the trend, I'm sure. Yeah. Also, he was sure. saying it's Antonio Banderas. He wasn't talking about downhill. Y'all have a good night. Peace, chat. Good to see you, Cam. Have a good night, my man. Let's see. Here's an interesting question, and we'll close it out on this one. Uh, okay. We're at the two-hour mark. So Tuji says, have you guys also experienced that first sprays of new bottles smell different? I've experienced this with various brands. Example, Hugo Boss, Aventus, Killian. All authentic, store-bought. <clears throat> yeah. Um... No, um, I can't really, I don't know. It just depends. And sometimes, you know, with certain fragrances, you get like an alcohol feel, like the first couple of sprays. Um, but as far as that, no, I haven't experienced any, any situations like that. No, I haven't. Just with some alcohol in the opening sprays. The only thing I can think of is those first sprays are going to be the freshest because once you start introducing oxygen into the bottle to replace the oil and alcohol, once you start atomizing, the breakdown process accelerates from what it was when they were poured because mm -hmm. they've been sealed off, air removed, everything. When it's in a lab, it's done properly when they fill these bottles and then seal them with their atomizers. However, whether it's crimped, you know, air sealed, pressed or whatever the brand is using for their design. Um, once you start swapping it out, that breakdown process on those oils and evaporation of alcohol through the atomizer starts to accelerate from where it was. So that's what will kind of change the way it comes across. So that's what I think he's referring to. That's usually the culprit in my experience, okay. the way it's been explained to me in the past. And it's always made sense to me that, sure, that of course, that's what it is. So um, the maceration type of. It's kind of a form of maceration. It's really a breakdown of the chemicals over it. time. It's just accelerated once you start introducing oxygen, replacing oxygen with, well, oils and alcohol with oxygen. You're replacing the value right. every time you spray it. Okay. Even though it's a minuscule okay. amount each spray, the more you spray it, the more you're replacing the value, you're swapping it. So what's left in the bottle breaks down more and more because more oxygen is being added to it. Because right. every time you push, when you let go, it sucks back in. Got it. You push, it sprays. Got you it. let go, it sucks back in. Got it. See what I'm saying? Out in, out in. Yes, sir. And on that note, We'll go ahead and shut it down. I appreciate everybody coming to hang out for this random live chat today. Dedrick, my main man, thank you for coming and joining me for a little bit. Consuelo, let, thank you for letting me borrow your husband for a little while, if you're still here. <laughs> I appreciate you for taking sure. over, boys, so I can have your husband for a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's always a pleasure. Great to uh, get on here and chop it up with my guy and you guys when the opportunity presents himself. Um, and I'm just, it's always fun. I always have a good time. Always. So anybody not subscribed to Dedrick Hicks Jr., it's the name that's on the plate right here. You really should be. You'll like Thank his you. content. If you were sitting here hanging Thank out with us on live stream, you're going to like his content. If you're not already subscribed to Dedrick, please go subscribe to Dedrick. He just coughed and blinked and went from 10,000 to 15,000 like that. It's going to be the same thing with 20K and 25 and so on until this man gets one of these sooner than later. That's in his future. I feel it. That I is appreciate in that. Future. Thank you. I appreciate so, that for sure. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, my man. Thanks for coming and join me. I hope you all yes, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for coming and join me. And we'll see you again on Monday. Obviously, we'll have regular recorded content coming out throughout the weekend, but we'll be live again on Monday. I look forward to seeing you guys once again. And uh, make sure to like this stream before you leave. Y'all have a good one. And remember, <laughs> if you're FWO, you're FWO, you're FWO for, for life. life. Thank <laughs> you.